Your Galaxy S25 Ultra might keep rebooting if a system update failed, a third-party app is crashing the system, or the firmware has developed bugs. It could also be due to corrupted system cache, overheating from resource-heavy apps, or faulty internal storage. These common issues can cause your phone to restart randomly without warning. If you have a problem like this, the first thing you have to do is boot your Galaxy S25 Ultra into safe mode because it temporarily disables all third-party apps and helps you check if one of them is triggering the reboots. Press and hold the power key until the power menu appears, then tap and hold the power off option until safe mode appears. Tap safe mode to restart the phone. If your device stops rebooting in safe mode, then you know a third-party app is the cause. Start uninstalling recently downloaded apps one by one until the issue is gone. If that doesn't fix it, try checking for software updates because outdated firmware may contain bugs that cause reboot loops. Open settings, scroll down, and tap on software update. Tap download and install, and if an update is available, follow the prompts to complete it. Updates often contain bug fixes and system optimizations that can stabilize your phone. If your phone still keeps restarting, check your storage space because low internal storage can lead to performance issues and sudden restarts. Open settings, tap device care, then select storage. If your storage is almost full, delete large files, clear app cache, or uninstall apps you no longer need. Finally, you can reset all settings on your Galaxy S25 Ultra because improper system settings may be causing instability. Go to Settings, tap General Management, then choose Reset. Tap Reset All Settings and Confirm. This won't delete your personal files but will return all system preferences like Wi-Fi, permissions, and sound settings to their defaults, which can help resolve random rebooting. After following these steps, your Galaxy S25 Ultra should stop rebooting unexpectedly and return to normal operation. If the issue continues, you may need to bring it to a Samsung service center for professional inspection. Also, if ever you have issues with your phone, drop a comment below and we might be able to help. Thanks for watching.